Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this lecture we'll be starting with HTML5 video overview. So HTML5 provides native video support. This means that we do not have to rely on third-party plugin dependencies and cross-browser deployment scripts. However, this statement as of now is not fully true. In order to include a video, all we need to do is just make use of the video tag with the src attribute pointing to a video file. And then we will specify the width and height of it. And that's all you need to do. But there are certain issues with it. Like as of now, adoption is being slowed by browser codec support. Current specification does not declare a standard video codec. And because of the unclear nature of patents and licensing, it's affecting browser support. So as of now, there are three popular codecs. The first one being H.264 video codec, which is a high quality video codec and is supported by Microsoft and Apple. It's currently supported by Chrome, Explorer, Firefox, Opera and Safari. Now OGG Theora video codec is an open source codec and uh, its quality is not that good if you compare it with H.264 and currently it's supported by Chrome, Firefox, Opera. Next is the VP8 or the .webm video codec which is actually developed by Google as an open source codec and is a very high quality video codec. Mozilla is among those calling for VP8 to be adopted as a standard video codec in HTML5 specification. As of now, it's supported in Chrome, Explorer 9 onwards, Firefox, and Opera. Now, as I mentioned, there is no standard codec available as of now, so obviously, there is a chance that the video tag will not work in certain browsers if you have a different type of file which is not supported by it. So, what we need to do is we need to have a fallback option. For that, there are libraries available, like we have videojs.com, which is an open source library, and it supports cross-browser video support, and it also supports all the codec that we have discussed, as well as flash fallback support. Other source is html5video.org. So, these are some resources which you can make use of if you are trying to host videos on your website. How we can make our videos web compatible. So for that there are certain softwares available for instance Handbrake which is available for both Mac as well as Windows operating system and here I have downloaded the 64-bit version for my operating system and once you have downloaded it by visiting this link clicking on the download link for either Mac or Windows you need to install it and once it's installed you can open it up and it will look something like this. All you need to do initially is go to file and choose a source. Like over here I have selected one file which is .mp4 file and here you'll get some presets as well. You can see it over here like general preset, very fast, fast at 720 pixels, 576 or fast at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Then for web also you have got it in this fashion if you are attaching it in Gmail you have got 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Then we have different devices for which you can convert it and here you will get the video codec option. So either you can go with the .264 or you can choose mpg4. With mp4 you will also get the option of web optimized. The other output setting is mkv which does not provide you that feature. So if you have your mp4 file you can also select web optimized and then choose the codec which is available over here and just start encoding and that's pretty much it. Once the file is encoded you can simply take it and use it in your video tag as the src attribute. So here if I have to go with this dot .264 I can simply go ahead and say start encode and before doing that you can just go ahead over here destination file. I'll be selecting the same path and here I'll be saying encoded. So here you have the file name now. Click on start. 
and at the bottom you will see the progress going on and once the encoding is complete you can see that the file has been encoded over here you can select its properties to see the actual file size so here you had the container as mp4 with this video codec so now it can be easily uploaded on web so using softwares like Handbrake, we can encode our videos to web compatible formats and then make use of them in our websites. How we can include a video file that we have earlier encoded in our HTML5 web page. So you can see that including a video file is pretty easy. All we need to do is make use of the video tag and there we have to specify the SRC attribute which is going to point to the location where our video file is located and then we have the width and height specified. Now once we have done this let's see how our page looks. So here this is how it looks in Chrome and uh, you can see that we cannot play it. It's just like an image. There's no control coming up where I can play pause the video or I can you know skip to a specific timeline and then reduce the volume or make it full screen. So all those kind of things are missing from here. Now let's check it in Firefox as well. And this is how it looks in Firefox. Now in order to have the control bar available, what we need to do is in our code, we need to have controls attribute mentioned. Now with the controls, we'll have uh, the toolbar available. And if you want that, the video should only load when one clicks on the play button. We can have preload set to false. So once we have this in place, let's see how our page looks now. So if I refresh this one, you can see that now the play button comes up. The timing of the video is shown over here. This is the timeline coming up, the volume icon is there and full screen or you can even download this video. So. I can now click on this play button right, this picture will be taking a look at. and you can hear the video being played and you can reduce the volume over here or you can make it full screen like this or back. So all these features are now available in our video. There's one more thing that I would like to share with you and that is let's say you have some incompatibility issue with the file extension that you have included. In that case, what you can do is you can have an alternative way of the video tag, which you can have in this way. So I can just remove the SRC from here. And what I will do is I'll include a source tag. So over here, let's say my source tag will look like this. And then another source can be like this. So for some reason, if the browser is not supporting .mv4 extension, then it will simply go for the other one available dot ogg in this case so that's another way of having a set of files included as source files for a given video tag and the one which is supported by the browser will be played by default and the order is like the first video is checked if it's supported then it will be played by default otherwise the next one in line will be checked and so on and so forth. So this is how we actually include videos in our HTML5 web pages. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.